G'day Ziggy D here and in this video I want to share with you guys my first impressions of Dark Souls 2. Now I have played a little bit of the series before but I essentially came into this game uh, as a bit of a noob really, a noob to the series. I've played some Demon Souls and some Dark Souls but I was never very good at them and I never got very far. But uh, I've played about 16 hours of this game so far and I've had an amazing time with it. It has got uh, everything I kind of want uh, out of a game, and it's done those things very, very well. So, uh, just here I'm sort of standing in this one area here, and uh, it gives you a bit of an idea of one thing that will strike you about the game uh, pretty early on, is that although it's not a technically, very technically, uh, you know, graphically good looking game, like a lot of the textures and stuff like that are pretty simple, the art direction in the game is really, really fantastic. The monster design, the character design, everything just comes together really, really nicely. And uh, that's what this game is all about, design. And not just art design as well. I'm also talking about uh, monster design, boss battle design, level design, and the whole experience is designed very, very beautifully and very, very intelligently. And it makes it an extremely satisfying game to play. Now, Dark Souls is uh, a game that's best experienced with minimal spoilers. So I'm going to try and do this early part of this first impressions as spoiler free as possible. There will be some minor spoilers and I'll have a highlights reel at the end of my first impressions that you guys can watch if you're not too worried about spoilers, but it will have some more major spoilers in it. But uh, I highly recommend if you are interested in Dark Souls, this sounds intriguing to you, to get the game and to do it without you know, without checking out any guides or talking to anyone about all of this stuff. Basically, sue yourself in a, off in a little cave and uh, just explore. Explore and learn. The game is about learning from your mistakes, about exploring and discovery. And uh, each of all of these things comes together and makes for some really wow experiences. Like the first time you encounter an enemy, your draw will hit the floor. The first time, you know, you finally defeat a boss, you'll fist pump in the air. It really elicits some of these really strong emotions and a lot of satisfaction. Now the game is brutally hard. It is very, very difficult. The series is known for how difficult it is. But it's very mechanical, very satisfying form of difficulty. So uh, each of the different enemies have certain attack patterns that you can learn, different types of attacks, and each of your own weapons and armor sets and the way you build your character uh, has different mechanical limitations and strengths and weaknesses and things like that. And the game is essentially about learning these things, how they click together, and learning these patterns and then, you know, dying repeatedly and learning from these mistakes. So I'll just introduce you guys to one particular uh, enemy type here, which is, you'll notice that my armor is very similar to his because I've actually uh, killed a lot of these guys now and uh, in doing so learned how to fight them fairly effectively and uh, also uh, managed to acquire some gear from them as well because enemies will often drop specific types of gear, which makes a pretty interesting sort of thing to try and learn their patterns at the same time as get interesting weapons from them. So, these guys are heavily armoured foes. Now, I'm using a, uh, a Warhammer type weapon just here. You see, he's already sort of he's spotted me. He's just going into defensive mode at the moment. I, I'm using this uh, Warhammer here, which uh, does is very effective against heavily armoured foes. So, I've specifically set up my current, you know, gearing situation and everything uh, in order to, you know, counter these sorts of encounters. Now, this guy just here, these guys are pretty simple. I can sort of bait him into an attack, simply move out of the way. Now I'm going to go in for an attack here. Now I'm going to dodge to the left, move back out of range of these next follow-up attacks. Now he's gone for the swing. I will probably... Whoa, I'll take a hit! <laughs> dodge that second attack there and take another hit. So, not mechanically perfect that time, <laughs> but uh, still very entertaining. And the combat is... Uh, very, very skill and, as I said, mechanics based. So, about learning this different attacks. Those guys are pretty simple. They use one basic sort of attack. Now, this is an interesting encounter here. Uh, there's three soldiers here. However, you'll kind of learn that these guys, if you engage one, they'll actually... These guys have their own code of honor where they will only engage one at a time. Oh, that's not so good. All right. So, I thought he was winding up for a, a down slam attack. <laughs> Well, okay, my mechanics are a little bit rusty, it's been over 24 hours since I played, and it gives you a taste, the game can be very brutal. But uh, we'll, we'll start off back down at this camp here, and we learned a bit of a lesson, you know. Now, whenever you die, or whenever you rest and try and refill your healing flasks, or your, uh, you know, refill your health, uh, things will re actually respawn. Now, things can eventually despawn if you kill them enough times. But uh, thing, uh, things will often respawn, so this enemy up the top here will probably have respawn unless I've killed him enough times to stop him from spawning now. I might have actually done so. Yeah, it looks like he's not spawning anymore. 
And you'll notice my max health bar up there is uh, is lower now. It's lower than what it was, and uh, is getting lower and lower each time I die. Dark Souls is the sort of game that's going to make things a bit harder as you die. Now, you can reset this by turning yourself back into human. You'll notice that every time you die, you become more and more zombie-like. <laughs> but I can actually uh, consume a human effigy here to turn myself back into a human and uh, regain my, my maximum potential life. Now, I need to actually heal myself to do this, so I'll do this. And we'll go back in. Now, if you, uh, if you do make repeated mistakes, if you don't learn from your mistakes, then you get punished very very severely in this game. You'll see just there that green glow. That's my, that's my uh, previous death spot. Now, uh, losing, losing uh, d dying essentially loses you your souls, which is the currency in the game. Now, this currency is used for both leveling up, purchasing gear, upgrading gear, and pretty much just about everything. Now, if I die while attempting to recollect my souls, so let's say let's say I got past this group of enemies and the next group of enemies, but died at another one a little bit later on. Now, if I didn't learn my lessons from the combat on this way through, and I, instead I died at this group of enemies while trying to retrieve my corpse, which is, you know, say, down there, then uh, I actually lose all of those souls, so you can lose a lot of progress that way. So the game teaches you in the most brutal fashion possible to uh, learn the mechanics of the game. So I'm going to duck back. He's going for the swing this time. All right, now I'm going to duck in behind him. He's going for a downswing. Dodge, dodge to the side. Dodge out of range since he's going for the larger swing. Wait for his attack. I'm going to sprint past to the other side of him. Go for a large hit. And then we get the kill. I do a lot of damage with this hammer, so it's nice and easy to get them down. But now I've killed their boss. The two other ones have, uh, have decided to engage as well now. So... <laughs> <laughs> Things get a little bit trickier, but I think we can... Ooh, I think we can do this. But the combat is just incredibly satisfying in this game. There's so many different enemies to learn the mechanics of. There's lots of different ways to fight yourself as well, and it's different to light. In addition to light and heavy attacks and blocking, you can actually even try and attempt to parry enemies' attacks, which I'm not very good at. You can actually par parry their attacks and use counter-attacks to actually uh, deal additional damage there as well. Alright. Oh, we went for a stab attack. We managed to sort of mutually hit each other there, though. So, I'm gonna dodge to the right was not so good. Dodging to the left on that first attack is much better. And we'll fo have a follow-up hit. Thankfully, I'll do a lot of damage here. Let's see if we've got any good items. Oh, an Old Knight Greatsword. Nice. One of their greatswords and a Pale Stone. So, uh, the, game is, the game is just incredibly well designed, and each of the encounters is like a little mini extra game that you have to learn, and each of the boss encounters brings a lot of these things together, and uh, even more dip difficult and epic. Some of the boss fights just really, really blow you away at either how difficult they seem initially, but then how you can sort of pull them apart later on, and uh, also just in how beautiful and uh, mechanically complex they are. The game is just... Really, really exceptionally well done. It's the first game that I've paid like over seventy dollars for in quite a while, and I do not regret it one little bit because it's just been quite the experience. So anyway, guys, I'll roll the uh, I'll roll my highlights reel for you guys. You can check out some of the other moments from my live stream just from the first two days. But I'm going to be playing a lot more of this game. It's a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to drop in for some live streams as well. But if you have any questions about it and my experiences so far, feel free to ask in the comments below. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching. Oh man, that's so terrifying. Whoa, okay. He fell over. Get him. The hacks. The hacks are real. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he freaking ate my head. Oh, what? <laughs> oh shit, there's, the ogres are there though. Are you coming over here, ogre? What? He can cross the log? Oh shit. Come on, bro. Ha! Ha! <gasps> it worked! Here it comes. No! <laughs> Jeez. Oh no! Again! Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Yes, yes, we're gonna get it, guys. We're gonna get it. Yes, yes, we got him, guys. We got him. Oh, here he comes. Oh man, I took a hit right away. Okay, that's good. Not good. It's going ham with these stomps. Ah, shit. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it was so close. Oh man. No! <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. No. Alright, we got this, guys. We got this. It's okay. Get earned! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> this guy's pretty scary, but <laughs> he's a bit slow. But it's going well so far, guys. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. Shit! Alright, I was doing well until that point. We haven't taken any hits yet. Ah, oh, fuck. Please no, please no. Let us heal, let us heal, bro. Let us heal, let us heal, let us heal. No! <laughs> it was going so well. Alright, last chance. It's real now. Fucking unleash hell. Come on! <laughs> Oh, yes! <laughs> I'm like, I got no stamina! Hit him, hit him, hit him! <laughs> oh man, okay, there we go. Here he is. No! Oh. Shit! God damn it! <laughs> I got greedy, I got greedy. <laughs> yes. Get wrecked. Alright, I gotta finish him. So close. Whew. There he is, he's there. Yes! Mm! Yes! Get out of here, you bastards. Ugh. Summon Grey Spirit Nuko. I'll have to update the rip counter after, guys. PvP time. Oh no! Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go rats! Go rats! Get him! Get wrecked! Target was destroyed. So I have a rat army. What can I? What can I say? What can I say? Dark bro leet. This guy's dark bro leet. Oh man, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> Come on. Oh, ugh, flattened. <laughs> flattened. Splat. <laughs> we shall call it the noob hammer. <laughs> Should have gone for the double slam. <laughs> Run away, bro! <laughs> Run away. Yes! <laughs> nice. <laughs> One shot! So, okay, so I was sort of aiming to there. I'm gonna aim to like there now. Yes? Yes! We just died anyway? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was even the point then? Oh my god. <laughs> he freaking ate my head! Oh! What?